So uh, before we uh, end this, man, yeah. what do you have coming up? As not as far as movies, right? Because I'm sure you in a lot of movies. I'm sure you got a movie or whatever coming up in that realm, right? Yeah, yeah, but I mean, as far as J Bo, as far as Jimmy goes, like mm -hmm. you know, the human, like what do you want to do? Like what do you see your biggest thing being? What do you see the biggest thing you could possibly do or give to the world? I'm really trying to create this TV show right now about my experience growing up in this group home that I did. Cause I feel like there's not a lot of uh, shows or movies out there that depict group homes in a certain light. So, and that group home is a big part of who I am as a person. So that's a big project I'm working on. I definitely want to get a lot of my poetry out there and a lot of my old music out there that I never put out. Cause I just want to show people all that I can do. You know what I mean? Because I feel like people only know to half. You know what I mean? Like, I got a lot of supporters and a lot of fans that I love. and But they probably just only like, oh, well, he's just an actor. He's just like, nigga, I can do any goddamn thing. So you writing you know the, uh, the TV yeah, show? Yeah, I'm developing it now. Um, and I want to, you know, I want to get, you know, I'm just putting together like a little one pager so that I can pitch it and, you know, bring some more writers to help me develop it but um but i really feel like that could be a cool cool project um so that's that's mainly what i'm on but also just like you know whatever i can do in the city to you know i'm trying to work with my other homie um adam who's just like uh, he has this company called uh value culture shout out to value culture and we're trying to work together to figure out some some stuff for the city that can just kind of bring the natives out or make the natives feel seen make the neighbors feel like they have somewhere where they can go and not, you know what I mean? So we, we working together to try to um, figure out how we can do that as well and bring the city kind of back together, especially since shit is opening back up. So mm -hmm. those are, yeah, those are my, those are my biggest things. You know what I mean? So yeah. for the, uh, for the show that you have, you know, what, what kind of plans do you have for like, do you want to get it on a national network do you want to get it on netflix do you want to um, like, do you have any any i think what i think whatever is right you know i could see it you know i could see you know fx or hbo fucking mm -hmm. with it or something but it really depends on who who would give me the most creative control over it because it's a lot of delicate stuff it's me dealing with because it's a, another personal story i work best with personal stuff mm -hmm. and writing stuff about stuff that I've experienced you yeah. know what I mean so um yeah it would be whoever would let me have control and you know not take too much control over what the content was like because mm -hmm. I don't want somebody to you know be like oh we'll give you x amount of money and then come in and be like oh but we're gonna change this and this and this, this is yeah. all important shit you know what I mean mm -hmm. that I need to be that I feel like needs to be out there you know so so you you wouldn't you wouldn't compromise your work for for the dollar no 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 not at all. That's, that's not why I'm not. That's not why I'm doing this. Nah, because I could have, if I was doing that, then I could have been in hella movies by now. Mm. I could have been in way more movies than mm. I've been in if that's what I was doing. Mm -hmm. You feel me? But you turn them down because of personal reasons because that personal you felt. Reasons, exactly. Because um. I, I know what I want, the legacy that I want to leave behind. So do you think that that is when they talk about selling your soul? Do you think that that's what it is? I don't think so. I mean, it's like, you like know, if you love, but if you love to act, that's one thing, you know? So if you love to act and just love to act, uh -huh. then yeah, sure. Take every role that gets thrown your way and do it because you love to do it. Uh -huh. For me, it's not just the acting part. It's the telling the story. It's like, what story is it? It's like they're teaching, they teach last black man in colleges, in film classes. Ooh, you know what hard. I mean? It's like, that's my first movie. And they, you know what I mean? That's the kind of legacy gotcha, that I want to leave gotcha, behind. Gotcha, Those gotcha. are the kind of projects that gotcha, I want to be doing. Gotcha. Shit that moves people. Shit that people are still talking about mm. now. Mm. You know what I mean? Shit that people are still going to be talking about. You know what I mean? When you go to film classes and they and yeah. they bringing up old movies and I w that's the type of shit I want to be involved with. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, yeah. You know, and if I got to turn down and you know if I got to live in my car for three months until that one project comes up. So be it. Right. Whatever. No, my nigga with it. Whatever. You know what I'm saying? Right. Like that's a real artist. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. We leaving a legacy behind. I want my grand my grandchildren to see my shit and be like, damn, proud of their grandpa type shit. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like for real. For sure. And just legacy for our people, not even just my descendants, but 
our people as a whole. Mm -hmm. you feel me? Yep. Straight up. That's dope, bro. That's that's dope as fuck. Man, man. And I I heard that you were talking about the music and shit, right? Mm -hmm. So we gonna get some more Jabo. Jabo coming back. Yeah, we gonna we gonna throw some shit. Yeah, I got I, I I got him. I know I keep I know my my homie Adiemi who he, he made a lot of my beats. Who's doing? Yeah, big he got things. the swag. He, he got doing the... big things now. He doing big shit with you know with hella people. You know, the big swag. people now. Yeah. And he always be like, well, nigga, I know you about to come recording and shit, not drop no shit, but I am though. <laughs> I am. Gonna drop some shit eventually. It's Demo, baby. It's Demo, <laughs> baby. <laughs> bro, my, my song, bro. What's that shit? Uh, you and I think Callie J was on. No, Callie J wasn't on that one. I right, you shot it in Oakland. Uh, you had a gap sweater on. Oh, it's the uh, I'm getting to the money because I'm that type of guy. I get the because I'm that type of guy. Because <laughs> <laughs> I'm that type of guy, bro. That that's my no, shit, bro. No, 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 yeah, we got. Is that shit on Spotify, nigga? I need that. Nah, it's not. Nah, it's <laughs> only on YouTube. Ah, oh, it's a crazy Cause story. I got. Did I tell you the story about when we were shooting that? No. They almost robbed us, and the, the 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 border brothers almost robbed us. They kidnapped Brad that I was doing the wait what the, the song with Brad. At the at the at the shoot, at the shoot, bro. Literally, we were shooting. In the liquor store? Uh, not in the liquor store. That was in the city. But when we was in Oakland, these niggas came up, fired on one of the homies, and then fucking took the other brother that was rapping in the video with me with the dress. Took that nigga hostage in the car. I had to take the videographer. We went hop behind some fence because these niggas like pulled up on us in some truck looking manny, some like Mexican cartel type shit, nigga. What? Kidnapped blood. Then we went in somebody's backyard, and then the lady came in the backyard and was like, "What the fuck y'all doing?" Dude? We was like, "Nah, nah, nah." We like, nigga, they, I don't know. Like, you feel me? Like, just yeah. call the cops, please. Whatever. And then the cops came, and then right as they was coming back down, um, they was coming with bruh in the car. They had kidnapped. I don't know how they got him, but they he they had bruh in the car. Then the the cops came and shit, and then. You know what I'm saying? Caught him and whatever, but it was like what they thought. What they thought, nigga had a bag on you or something. I don't know, bro. Like we was just like we. Was, I don't know if we was just in a territory or some shit or I don't know, bro. But they but came smacked them with a gun. Just, or something? Yeah, like, bro. They came like they came fired on one of the homies, then whipped out, and then we was just cutting. And videographer like the homie Carl, the homie he shoot a lot of uh, Oscar SFC? videos too. Carl SFC. Was Carl, he was, at the party Carl too. was there. Yeah, Carl was there. And literally, me and Carl ran. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> it's just had to. We just had to figure it out. But that's literally what went down in that right. video. You know what I'm saying? I'm just. And y'all still put the video out. <laughs> we still have the footy. That's all. I was like, let me go with Carl. Make sure all this footy. Make sure he good. Make sure the footy there and whatever. You know what I'm saying? And because I'm know, that type of guy. I'm that type of guy <laughs> type shit. And yeah, man, that was wild, man. This second table in the house. I'm saying, but <laughs> Damn. 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 some shit, man, Jeez. over some fancy. That's why. That's why I'd rather be an actor. Shit like that's that. That's what I'm saying. I'm shooting a movie, nigga. Ain't no, Ain't no nigga cartel members gonna come try to kidnap me if I'm doing a movie. Unless you're you know shooting, uh, Unless I'm shooting out of Compton, there's some shit like that. But man, it's like, shit, nigga, knife up why the fuck asshole. would that happen, bro? You know what I'm saying? I had never thought in a million years. I was like, hell not. The way these niggas pulled up, I was like, no, they they literally like they just seem like type of niggas to like send my fingers yeah. to my family or some shit. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Type shit. Like they was not playing. Bro, I got away though, right? He got huh? out the car. They, they... He got out the car. The cops came and all that, and I was like, you know, and they even, you know, the cops had literally called me like a month later, like, yeah, we just wanted to make sure because we just let the guys out that. Da, 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 so we just wanted to let you know, da, da, da. and I was like, for sure. I mean, I ain't gonna be in the town. No I don't know these niggas. Yeah. I don't know these niggas. Whatever you feel me. <laughs> these niggas on some crazy shit. Man, I'm just glad Yikes. we made it out. I'm glad. I'm glad Carl made it out. I'm glad we made it out. Like, yeah, I'm glad you did. Free, here. free, my boy, exclusive. He's still in the gym right now. He was the the one I did the song with. Super uh, talented dude, but sure. free, my boy. He in the jam. We love you, fool. Yeah, that, that that's my song. Yeah, my type of guy. Yeah, we got to yeah, we got to play that actually right now. We we gonna slap that. What um. Uh...